What's going on, everybody? Cigar Show Tim here with another edition of Tobacco Talk, where I review a cigar and then I give you my thoughts on it in four key areas. Flavor, draw, construction, and burn. It's everything you want to know about that cigar, but it's from my palate's perspective. And then I rate it as to whether I think it's noteworthy or not. So the cigar for this review, I picked up at PCA. I went by the Ferio Tego booth and many times Michael was busy talking with a lot of people, was getting quite a bit of attention. And this is the newest release from Ferio Tego that I have here that I got at PCA. It is the Ferio Tego Suma. This is the Torpedo Vitola, as you can see right here. But if we're going to check it out, there's only one thing left to do. Let's light it up. All right, so I went with a little bit of an angled straight cut, as you can see right there. On the cold draw, I pick up notes of dried fruit, which again, you get very, very frequently on a cigar. But I got some light graham cracker, and then a little bit of like some honey sweetness is in there as well. So let's toast her up. All right, upon initial light up, I'm picking up notes of a little bit darker than a cedar wood. There's a little bit of some light hay in there also. There's some nice honey sweetness that's still in there. There's some minerality, and then there's a little bit of, I don't know if it's like leather or what it is exactly, but pretty complex upon initial light up. I'm going to go through the first third. When I come back, I'll let you know about the blend on the cigar, what the flavor profile of the cigar is so far, and then the strength and all that other good information. So here's to the first third. All right, let me show you the burn here at the end of the first third. As you can see here, the burn is doing very well. Just a little bit of a dip right there. Ash is holding on, doing great. Smoke coming off of the foot. Going quite well in the first third. Okay, let's talk about the blend on this cigar. It features an Ecuadorian Colorado Oscuro wrapper. It's got an Ecuadorian binder, and then the fillers are from Nicaragua and the Dominican Republic. This is the Torpedo, and it is a six and a quarter by 52, so quarter inch longer than a traditional Toro. So six and a quarter by 52 is the size of this here. And they're all being uh, produced by the Quezada factory down the Dominican Republic. Uh, this is not a limited edition or a PCA exclusive. This is an everyday available Coraline offering from Ferio Tego. So let's talk about the flavor profile of this the minerality is still there i can't quite put my finger on what that minerality note is that's following up with that salty minerality i want to say it's some sort of a leather but there's some sort of a something like leather in there um, the honey sweetness that was there upon initial light up uh, and on the cold draw is sweetness but there's a vanilla note now it's not honey but it's a vanilla with some sweetness in there as well uh, and then that woodiness is still absolutely there very smooth very enjoyable very nice in the first third the burn's doing well the draw loosened up a little bit more from where it was upon initial light up which is good because it was a little bit tight now it's pretty much right where i like it so it's doing well and strength is sitting right now at probably about a medium minus not very strong uh, whatsoever i've heard that this is more on the closer to full strength uh, you know with the cigar i don't know for sure but i will say that it is a full bodied cigar in terms of the depth of flavors that i'm picking up so far we'll see if it picks up uh, and there, oh, there is a little bit on the retrohale. There's a little bit of white pepper in there. It's not spicy at all. It's just a really nice accent to the combination of the flavors that I had already mentioned. So I'm going to jump into the second third. When I come back, I'll let you know about any flavor transitions, how everything else is doing with it, and let you know also what Suma means. All right, let me show you the burn here at the end of the second third. You can see right there that it's got just a little bit of a wave to it, not doing too bad overall. Smoke coming there right off the foot. Ash held on great until about a minute ago when it got tapped off into the ashtray because I didn't want to drop it on my lap. Flavor profile in the second third. So they continued to develop. And the flavor note that I couldn't quite get my finger on, whether I was saying it was leather or something like that, there was the minerality with like a leather note. Actually now is much more, the minerality is there, but that leather has transitioned to like a peppered beef jerky kind of note now it's not like a straight up beef jerky like crazy strong beef but there's just a little hint of sort of like a, a beefy meaty note that's in there with that minerality along with that uh, pepper note that's in there it's not a strong black pepper but there's definitely some noticeable pepper 
in it. If you're a fan of Pepper, then this is probably going to be underwhelming for you. If you are not a fan of Pepper, this is definitely going to be tolerable for you with the level of Pepper that I'm experiencing. And then there's a very, very strong and savory nutty note that's in there. Um, somewhere between like a peanut and an almond, I'm probably going to go more towards an almond on this one because peanut for me is usually a little more earthy uh, in its flavor profile. But with the combination of all those flavors, it has been a really, really enjoyable second third. So Suma, what does it mean? Suma means basically a, a comprehensive, you know, look at your work or, a, you know, comprehensive um, collaboration of all your work. And that's what Michael Herklotz uh, with Ferriotego wants this to be representative of. As the perfect balance, if you look on Fairy Tego's website, it'll say it's a perfect balance between uh, flavor, um, body, and strength. And with the combination of those three things, uh, that is why Suma has its name, and it all is sort of encapsulated in the Suma cigar. So when I come back at the end of the cigar, I'll let you know whether I think it's nubworthy or not, any changes in the flavor profile, and anything else that I think you might need to know. But so far, it's doing quite well. All right, let's wrap up this review. Here's the burn at the end of the cigar. You can see right there, just a hint of a little dip to a wave to it right there, but otherwise doing very, very well. There's plenty of smoke coming off the foot still. Abundant, abundant smoke output on this cigar. Okay, flavor notes as the cigar wraps up. The pepper note that's there that was a subtle black pepper is now a little more pronounced. It's still not going to be something that is off-putting for those of you that really just don't like pepper bombs. This is not a pepper bomb whatsoever, but that pepper is complemented by still that sort of uh, beef jerky, now sort of like a, you know, minerality beef jerky, almost like steak kind of note that's in there, much more pronounced and defined. And then that nuttiness, that almond, which is a very pronounced almond now, is very much there. It's a creamy nuttiness, which I really enjoy and has been really good. And then that woodiness has still carried its way through the end of the cigar. And there's still a little bit of that vanilla sweetness that's in there as well. So it hasn't changed a whole lot. And typically, I am not a huge fan of cigars that don't transition and change from first to second to final third. But with the flavor notes in the second third that came out, that carry their way into this final third. This is a cigar that I've really enjoyed. It is absolutely nub worthy. And I am glad that I've got, I think a couple more in my humidor still because it is a very, very good cigar. If you've had this cigar or others from Fairy Otego, I'd love for you to put some comments down below. What was your take on them? Which ones have you had? Uh, obviously, the, he still has, uh, or he has Timeless, which was from Nat Sherman that he's brought over that he has the rights to. And all of that but what cigars from ferry otego uh, that have come out so far do you enjoy which one should i check out in addition to this suma here but it's been very very enjoyable uh, the draw on it is still doing very well it's exactly where i like it as it's ending up and the strength on this i would put is probably a medium plus so put some comments down below as to whether or not you think this is a cigar for you. I'd love to get your take on it. I've really enjoyed it. It is nubworthy. Go and find it. I highly recommend it. But as I say every time, enjoy your cigar journey, everybody. I'm Cigar Show Tim. As always, I'll see you.